in this video, we're just going to discuss um, different types of striker Ferno stretchers, uh, manual stretchers and power stretchers, as well as all the different loading options, uh, whether it be antler load, performance load, uh, power load, and then we will jump over into the INX stretcher as well, which combines kind of a stretcher and a load uh, in one uh, unit. Okay, so this is a Stryker, uh, instead of a Power Pro, this is a Performance Pro. This is a manual, completely manual stretcher. Um, as you will see, there's no, no battery, no electronics, uh, like you would see on a Power Pro. Um, in a manual stretcher, the, the firefighters, the medics, uh, whoever it may be, they're controlling all of the weight of the patient themselves. There's no power assist. So it's all done manually. And then to raise it, you've got all the weight of the patient. Like so. This particular model does have the, the XPS wings. Um, and, it, and it appears just on the initial look that it's a, a uh, Power Pro. But you'll be able to tell the difference if you look down here and you ever see these handles. That's the indicator that it's a manual stretcher versus a power. Okay, now let's look at the load system. This particular unit set up for, um, we call it an antler system. This is kind of the traditional uh, old school mount. It's got the, the antlers up here uh, that catch the front portion of the wheels right here. That's where they lock into the antler. And then there's a, a pin on the side of the stretcher that we'll look at that locks right into here. Uh, and then to disengage that, you just simply push here uh, to unlock it. When you load a manual stretcher, so you'll see on the bottom bar, the indicator for the raise and lower um, now there is that option on a power stretcher as well, just for a manual override. Uh, but this stretcher, this is the only way to uh, get it into the vehicle, uh, is to manually lift the, lift the wheel. And then it locks in on this. They also make one that mounts into the wall. Uh, it's just depending on the type of vehicle and the uh, mounting application, uh, whether they would need a floor mount or a wall mount. But the front wheel is just catching the handler, and then it locks in to the vehicle. So this is a manual stretcher with an antler style mount. All right. So this unit here is equipped with a Stryker uh, 6506 power stretcher, which is the Power Pro XT, but the mounting system is a um, Stryker Performance Pro. So there's no power assist uh, with this version. It's uh, the patient's weight is picked up with power, uh, but then when it's placed into the back of the unit, the medic actually picks up on the um, handle here and they have the patient's so again, this is a power stretcher. Um, and we will just demonstrate. So when we press these buttons, the legs will come up um, automatically with the power. Uh, however, we have the weight of the patient here. And it will just load and lock in. And then to disengage, you just press here, disengage the stretcher. So it is an upgrade, obviously, from the all manual. 
Um, but when you do load these into the ambulance, uh, you either have one or two crew members picking up the weight of the patient here on the back of the stretcher while the legs are retracting and then just uh, place it into the unit. Again, this is a Stryker uh, 6506 Power Pro XT with a Stryker performance load mount. So this is the Ferno INX stretcher. Uh, the INX uh, is a pretty unique stretcher. It um, doesn't have a power load system. However, the uh, legs are, they come up independently from the front uh, and then the back. And it has multiple sensors along that way uh, to detect where the weight is. So we will just simulate loading this into the back of an ambulance. So we will go down. And right now, I'm not using any force uh, to do that, other than just pushing the, pushing the button. And there's a laser uh, that will let it know when it's in the back of the unit. And from this point, the back legs will raise. There again, there's no force that I'm using at all. And then I would just simply push it in the back of the unit. Um, and then same on deploying the stretcher. The laser's activated now. I know my legs are clear. These can also be used independently. Uh, if you've got uneven surfaces, you can lower um, part of the stretcher, such as this. If you were to have stairs or something like that, all the sensors will detect where the weight needs to be applied. Pretty unique concept. This is the Ferno INX. So when we're talking about the Ferno line of stretchers, um, they have a couple of different manual options. They have the um, Ferno ProFlex uh, as well as the Ferno 28Z, uh, which is kind of like a uh, chair stretcher combination. Um, and then uh, when you enter into the, the power world, they have the Ferno Power X1. Um, the Power X1 uh, can mount into an antler style system. Uh, it can also mount into a Pro F1, which is Ferno's uh, center mount. Um, and it's also um, been tested uh, to be mounted into a Stryker Performance Pro mount. Uh, the main thing to remember uh, on the Ferno Power X1, that is our only new offering uh, as far as a power stretcher other than the INX here at Master Medical. Uh, when looking at different options for the Power X1, um, as far as the mounting system, you can get the Pro F1 uh, with integrated charging or without. Um, and then on the stretcher itself, on the Power X1, you can get the surface extenders, which are comparable to the XPS on the Striker system. You can also get the uh, Head in O2 uh, option to secure an oxygen bottle the uh, IV poles, stow net, backrest storage pouch. Uh, and you can also get the optional knee gatch, uh, wheel locks, uh, and the mag tracker. So the newest addition to the Ferno line of stretchers is the new Power X2. Just to uh, go over a few of the new features, Power X2 over the Power X1, one of the first things you will note is the uh, larger wheels, 27% larger wheel size, uh, has in increased ground clearance, uh, allows it to uh, maneuver better over rough terrain. The cross lock, it's universally cross compatible with the majority of manual and power load systems on the market. This is a huge, huge feature. It does have the EnduraCharge battery that everyone has grown to love over the Power X1, uh, 36 volt lithium ion uh, EnduraCharge, which lasts two times longer than the competitors. They brought over some lighting. If you've had the INX, you're familiar with it. Uh, the INX has had lighting for years. They brought over Scene Bright. Undercarriage is illuminated uh, for those dark nights. And also there is a standard grab bar on the foot end of the stretcher, uh, which allows for better maneuverability from the foot end. In its uh, fully extended position, uh, the stretcher's capable of 700 pounds unassisted, and then in a collapsed position, when it's on the ground, it's capable of 1,100 pounds. 
Uh, the Power X2 also has a cycle counter, which allows you to rotate your fleet if you're in a heavy use area. Uh, also another thing on the maintenance uh, side of things that is a huge asset is the new actuator. Power X2 comes with a hoseless actuator. This is an awesome feature. If you're familiar with the actuators with the hoses, those hoses tend to leak over time. Uh, and you won't have to worry about that with the new Power X2.